actually. What's up, Packers? It's Kelly Blocks, and I love pie. Like, I love apple, chocolate, pecan, pumpkin, all the pies. But my favorite pie is 3.14. To help celebrate March 14th, aka Pie Day, I'm bringing you three awesome pie inspired hacks. I mean, they're not actual pie hacks. If you came for that, sorry, might be disappointed, but keep on watching because I bet you will be liking pie after this. It's time to hack your world. And for our first hack, we have pie friendship necklaces. These are actual little itty bitty pieces of pie and they're friendship necklaces because they all fit together. So when you get all your friends together, you can all stick your necklaces together and create a perfect pie. Okay, I feel like a really creepy puppeteer right now. So I'm almost gonna like put them down. So I feel like everybody knows what pie is, the number, but they don't understand it. So that's why I bring you Oh, that's why I bring you my pie chart. Get it? So basically pie is a ratio that exists in all perfect circles. All you have to do to get circumference is take the diameter, wrap it around the circle 3.14 times, and boom, you got circumference. And it works like that in any perfect circle. High friendship necklaces, let's hack it. For this DIY, you'll need polymer clay, liquid clay, head pins, jump rings, gold chain, clasps, a craft knife, a toothpick, jewelry pliers, a baking sheet, and aluminum foil. Make a tiny pie out of polymer clay. I wanted to make mine pumpkin pie, so I made orange for the filling and brown for the crust. Use a toothpick to make teeny little ridges to the crust. Next. Cut your pie into eight pieces. Place a head pin into each piece. Roll out little whipped cream dollops. Use the liquid clay to attach them to each piece. Bake your pies at 275 degrees for 15 minutes. Trim your gold chain and complete it with jump rings and a clasp. Once your pies are finished cooling, secure them to the necklace with another jump ring. And you're done. These necklaces look good enough to eat. Okay, that's enough math and pie for today. Let's move on. <laughs> and for our next stack, we have pie pins. Do you like that? Oh yeah, baby, I just got pinned. You can put them on yourself and declare that you love pie. These are one of those shrinking plastic crafts. A special plastic? No, 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 that's a scam. All you have to do is take a number six plastic, stick it in the oven, and it actually shrinks down. Like this. So I learned that plastics are made from long molecules called polymers. So basically how they make these containers is they heat the polymers up and they stretch them out to make it super thin. And then they cool it and it keeps the plastic in the shape that they want. When you stick them back in the oven, they gain energy and they vibrate, and then they like curl up and shrink back to the original state. So that's why they get smaller. <laughs> Guys, I'm literally doing so much pie explaining today. This is exhausting. But you know what? It's worth it. Pie pins, let's hack it. For this DIY, you'll need pen and paper, recyclable number six plastic, aluminum foil, permanent markers, safety pins, and hot glue. First, draw your pie for your pins. Make it three times as large as you would want it to be. Trace your designs on the plastic and cut it out. Put your designs on foil and stick them in the oven for about a minute. Remove from the oven and attach the safety pins to the back with hot glue. Pie 
high up your life. Okay, moving on. And for our last act, we have pizza pie. Actually, it's pizza that's shaped like pie. You eat it, take it to a party, people love you, you explain to them everything I taught you because hopefully you remember that because that took an hour. And then they kick you out of the party because you're annoying. Actually, they won't kick you out. They'll think you're super cool and like you're that person with like all the fun facts. So this is the pizza cutter or cookie cutter that I used for this hack. Pizza pie, let's hack it. For this DIY, I'll need a pie cookie cutter, a rolling pin, a baking sheet, a cutting board, flour, shredded cheese, pizza sauce, and pizza dough. First, add flour to your rolling pin and roll out your dough. I made mine about a quarter inch thick. Next, cut out pie shapes using the cookie cutter. Place your pies in the oven. Check the package for a temperature to bake them at. After four minutes, take them out and add your sauce and cheese. Finally, stick them in the oven for six more minutes, and they're done. A uh, pie, please. Moving on. And that is it for my pie so today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIYs every single Friday. Comment down below what your favorite was. Mine was definitely the pie necklaces. That's it for today's videos, hackers. Goldie Blocks, signing off. <laughs>